Hello everyone, I am Pranav Doshi and today in this video, I am going to explain about multiplication using Wood's algorithm along with my team. So in this video, we are going to cover the following topics, introduction, algorithm, flowchart, examples, advantages and disadvantages using Wood's algorithm. Now my friend Manali will explain you the introduction. Let's begin with the introduction of the Booth's algorithm. The Booth's algorithm was invented by Andrew Donald Booth in 1950 and is commonly used in computer arithmetic. Booth algorithm can be used for multiplication that allows us to multiply the two signed binary integers in two's complement respectively. It is also used to speed up the performance of the multiplication process. It is very effective too. Let's move to the algorithm. There are four cases in Booth's multiplication algorithm. When we solve multiplication using Booth's algorithm, we come across 0 and 1. Here 0 represents the least significant bit of Q and 1 represents the bit of Q minus 1. When we come across 0 and 1, we perform addition of A and M. Then we do arithmetic right shift. When we come across 1 and 0, we subtract a and m then we do arithmetic right shift when we come across 1 1 and 0 0 we only do the arithmetic right shift now Vaishnavi will explain the flowchart let's observe the flowchart for Booth's algorithm we start by initializing the accumulator to 0 the flip-flop q minus 1 to 0 and storing the multiplicand in a register. Then we store the multi-multiplier in another register and store the count, that is number of bits in multiplier in another register. Next we check the bits Q0 and Q-1 if they both are the 0 or both 1 we prefer an arithmetic right shift. This is the arithmetic right shift on the accumulator Q and Q-1 and decrease the value of count by 1. If Q0 and Q-1 are 0, 1, that indicates the end of the sequence and we store the sum of the accumulator and multiplicand of the accumulator. Then, if Q0 and Q-1, which indicates the beginning, if Q0 and Q-1 are 1 and 0, which indicates the beginning of sequence of 1s, we store the result of subtracting the multiplicand from accumulator. After this, we perform an arithmetic right shift and accumulator Q and Q-1. We repeat this process until the count becomes 0 means we have traversed all the bits of the multiplier once count becomes 0. We stop this process and result is available in accumulator. Pranav will explain how to multiply using Booth's algorithm with the examples. Let's start with the example of multiplication using Booth's algorithm by taking 6 multiplied by 7. Here the multiplicand m is 6, multiplier q is 7. Let's write them in the binary form. So 6 binary form is 00110 and 7 binary form is 00111. So uh, we'll require the value of minus 6 in uh, further steps. So let's calculate minus 6. To find minus 6, we have to first take one's complement of 6 that is 11001 and add 1 to it we get 11010 this is the value of minus 6 that is also the 2's complement of 6 so first uh, let's start the calculation the number of steps we get this from number of bits present in the multiplicand and multiplier there are 5 bits present so the steps will be 5 you can say steps or counts the accumulator value is set to 0 Q is 00111 that is multiplier a uh, binary form of 7 Q and minus 1 is, is set as 0 and the operation is initial stage here uh, we'll check for the least significant bit of Q that is 1 and Q and minus 1 is 0 as according to the flowchart when you come across 1 0 case we perform operation on A that is A minus M here the value of A is uh, 0 0 0 0 so here we have taken 0 0 0 0 0 and minus m we have take we have taken two's complement of m and converted into plus so plus we have done this so 11010 so the final answer comes 11010 
this we have put here and q we have copied as it is 0 0 1 1 1 q n minus 1 and 0 we have to perform a right shift so 1 will keep as it is and 1 1 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 1 so the fifth step is over so now the count will be decremented by 1 that's 5 minus 1 that is 4 while starting the fourth step it will check for the same bit of q that is 1 and q n minus 1 1 when we get 1 1 case then we will perform a right shift so 1 1 1 1 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 so the fourth step is over we will perform count steps minus 1 so 4 minus 1 3 and again check for the q's designifying bit that is 1 and q n minus 1 is 1 as it's again 1 1 case so we will perform a right shift so 1 1 1 1 1 0 1 0 0 0 1 so third step is over so the count will be decremented by 1 so 3 minus 1 2 and we'll check for the leasing bit of q that is 0 and q n minus 1 is 1 so when we get 0 1 case we have to perform operation on a that is a plus m so the value of a was 1 1 1 1 1 so we have written here 1 1 1 1 1 and value of m that is 0 0 1 1 0 so the sum comes 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 is the carry so we have written this here uh, the, we have to perform the right shift so 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 0 0 now the second step is over we will decrement the count by 1 so 2 minus 1 1 and uh, as its case of 0 0 according to flowchart we have to do a right shift so 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 0 so the five steps are over so this we get the answer so this value comes in De decimal part 42 which is correct 6 into 7 is 40 now Shauna will explain you boots algorithm using another example so moving to the second example of the boots algorithm that is minus 5 multiplied by 4 here multiplicand is minus 5 and multiplier is 4 firstly we have to convert the multiplier and the multiplicand into their binary form so binary form of 5 is 0101 and 4 is 0100. In order to convert minus 5 to its binary form, first we have to use seconds complement method. Firstly for that we have to convert 5 to its binary form that is 0101 and take its 1's complement that is 1010 and add 1 to it which gives us the final answer 1011. Now as each of the number contains only 4 bits, there will be 4, four steps in the or 4 counts in the boots algorithm. So moving to the 4th count, when count equal to 4, our accumulator is by default 0, 0, 0 and our qn minus 1 is also by default 0, 0 in the initial step. Now as q lsb of q is 0 and qn minus 1 is also 0, in this case according to boots algorithm we have to perform right shift. Therefore, our accumulator will become 0, 0, 0, 0 and Q will become 0, 0, 1, 0 because of right shift and Q and minus 1 will, 1 will become 0. Now, count will become minus count equal to minus 1 that is 4 will become count equal to 3. Now, when count equal to 3, our initial condition is accumulator equal to 0, 0, 0, 0 and Q equal to 0, 0, 1, 0 and Q and minus 1 is 0. Now, as LSB of Q is 0, and q1 and minus 1 equal to 0 again we have to perform arithmetic right shift now after performing arithmetic right shift we get 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 and 0 that is q1 minus 1 equal to 0 now and after subsequently the count will become count equal to minus 1 that is 3 will become 2 now in this uh, now in this count our initial condition is accumulator equal to 0 0 0 q equal to 0 0 0 1 and q n minus 1 equal to 0 now as lsb of q is 1 and q n minus 1 is 0 we have to perform a equal to a minus 1 on the accumulator therefore our accumulator becomes 1 0 1 1 after performing this operation and q becomes 0 0 0 1 and q n minus 1 equal to 0 now subsequently we have to perform right shift also 
after performing a equal to a minus 1 which gives us the result accumulator equal to 1101 and q equal to 1000 and qn minus 1 equal to this time becomes 1 now count equal to count minus 1 therefore 2 will become 1 and at last uh, we have the first condition as 1101 and q equal to 100 and qn minus 1 is 1 now as LSB of Q is 0 and QN minus 1 is 1, in this case according to Booth's algorithm, we have to perform A equal to A plus 1 on the accumulator and we have to subsequently perform right shift on it, which finally gives us the answer accumulator equal to 0001, Q equal to 0100 and QN minus 1 is 0. Therefore our final answer is accumulator comma Q that is 0001 and 0100. After converting this both to binary form, we get our answer equal to minus 20. And there is an extra carry appearing here, which means our result is negative. Now Snail will continue. So these are these are the advantages of both algorithm. First advantage accelerates computation. This algorithm is faster in computation, it is efficient too. It works on string bits in the multiplication that requires no additional bit, only right shift is needed. Second advantage is supports signed integers as well. The third advantage is stepwise solution. In this algorithm, stepwise representation of solution is provided, which makes this algorithm easier to understand at once. And the last advantage is it lessens the number of incomplete products, which reduces the steps and time. For example, 35 into 7 can be written as 7 into 30 plus 7 into 5. This step is not required in Booth algorithm. So it make this step is deleted. So this makes this algorithm faster and efficient. Now Yugam will tell the disadvantages. Disadvantages of Booth's algorithm. First, complexity. It is more complex than other multiplication algorithms. Second, limited range of numbers. It is designed to work with signed binary numbers, which means it has limited range of numbers that it can multiply. Third, error prone. It requires careful handling of the signed bit and can be prone to errors, if not implemented correctly. Fourth, not optimal for small numbers. It is designed to be efficient for large numbers, but for small numbers it will be hard. Limited hardware support. Good algorithm requires special hardware support to implement efficiently, which may not be available in all systems. Thank you.